Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, in today's video we will be checking out Consensys ZKEVM beta testnet. What is Consensys ZKEVM? Firstly we will see what is ZKEVM. A ZKEVM stands for Zero Knowledge Ethereum Virtual Machine replicates the Ethereum environment as a roll-up, and allows developers to build on it as they would on Ethereum mainnet. The benefits on ZKEVM are, secure scalability, cheaper costs, faster finality and capital efficiency. Network effects. Consensys ZKEVM is a type 2 zero knowledge Ethereum virtual machine. The Consensys ZKEVM network allows you to deploy any smart contract, use any tool, and develop as if you're building on Ethereum. For users, this enables the experience and security guarantees of Ethereum, but with lower transaction costs. How can you get hands on the private testnet? If you're interested in joining the private testnet, then join the waiting list from the link which is in the pinned comment and also in the description of the video. DApp developers, users, researchers, and existing protocols are encouraged to join and help scale Ethereum. You would get a confirmation email from Infura stating, you have now joined our waitlist of private beta users. We will contact you if your account is whitelisted for you to begin experiencing the power of the Consensys ZKEVM. How to get started in the ZK Rollup ecosystem of Consensys after getting your wallet address granted for it. Firstly you would need to add Consensys ZKEVM to your MetaMask wallet as a network. To configure MetaMask for the Consensys ZKEVM network, go to the Consensys ZKEVM testnet portal and follow the instructions on the drop-down labeled testing environment setup. To retrieve your unique RPC URL, firstly sign into your Infura account then select create new key. Then select Web3 API for network. Then give your project a name, for example Consensys ZKEVM. A card for Consensys ZKEVM appears in your list of endpoints. Select the copy icon and paste the RPC URL into the testing environment setup found on Consensys ZKEVM testnet website. You can also add Consensys ZKEVM network to your MetaMask wallet by adding Network name is Consensys ZKEVM New RPC URL by pasting your unique RPC URL endpoint which includes your API key for the Consensys ZKEVM found within your Infura account Chain ID is 59140 Currency symbol is CRED Block Explorer URL is https colon slash slash explorer.girly.zkevm.consensys.net Nextly you would need to start by getting some Ethereum on ZKEVM by bridging. For bridging, you need to get testnet ed on Girly Ethereum testnet network, I would prefer to get testnet Ethereum from Paradigm Faucet go to the link given in the description box as Faucet and connect your Twitter account. Then paste your wallet address in Paradigm Faucet page and you would get 0.1 Ethereum on Girly Ethereum testnet in just a few seconds, mostly it would be done in less than a minute. Nextly you would need to go to the link shown on your screen, the link is also given in the description box and then connect your wallet, make sure you are on Girly testnet network. Select network in the first box as Girly and in the second box as ZKEVM, put the desired amount in the first box which you want to bridge. Make sure you don't put it at max amount as you would need gas on Girly to do the bridging. In around 2 to 3 minutes you would get Ethereum on Consensys ZKEVM which is called as CRETH. This bridge is forked version of Hop Protocol bridge made by the Consensys team with the approval and support of Hop team. You can get USDC on ZKEVM by doing the following steps. Go to the link shown on the screen and also available in the description box. Click on Mint 10 USDC and make sure your wallet is on Girly Network and click on Confirm the Testnet Transaction. You would get 10 USDC on Girly Network in about 2 to 3 minutes, now you need to bridge USDC from Girly to ZKEVM. For that you would need to go to Girly Bridge and click on the ed which is written at the middle at around the top of the page or you can directly go to this link and bridge from there is the same process which I have shown for the bridging of ed from Girly to USDC. Just a note you would need to approve USDC on Girly first to do the bridging. Now you have added Consensys ZKEVM to your wallet and also have Testnet Ethereum and USDC. You can start doing transactions by sending Testnet funds to other wallet addresses or transfer between your accounts.
The transaction is successful very fast, thanks to the power of consensus ZKEVM. You can try swapping between Ethereum to CRUSDC tokens on ZKEVM at the link, connect your wallet and click on the second box and click on CRUSDC, and put the desired amount you want, make sure you don't do it completely because you would need some Ethereum for gas fees. The transaction is confirmed in less than 15 seconds thanks to the power of ZKEVM. This is a forked version of Uniswap V3 and temporary operated by consensus with the approval of the Uniswap team. You can also try to add liquidity to the pools by going to link and click on new pools, click on select token and don't change the Ethereum in the first box in the pair and the drop down options will pop up, choose CRUSDC in the small options which come, select the fee rate tier which you want, there are three options of 0.05%, 0.3% and 1%. Now while adding liquidity, I choose the max option on the CRUSDC and click on approve. After the transaction for approval is success, you will see a button for preview, click on it and click on add and confirm the transaction. After the transaction of adding liquidity is successful, you would see your position in the liquidity pools page at home page. For removing liquidity, click on your position and click remove liquidity. Select the percentage of liquidity you want to remove and click on remove and the pop-up for remove confirmation will pop up, select remove. Click on confirm the transaction in your MetaMask wallet. Thanks for watching this video. See you guys in the next one.